We're the Butcher Babies and we're here hanging out with Michael from Bay Area Backstage. At the Mayhem Festival. Keep watching. Pull the string. Pull the string. Scurry. Wow. Wow. Stage. I'm Chris from the Butcher Babies. I play drums. And I'm Heidi. I'm one of the vocalists. And we are at the Rockstar Mayhem Festival. Yeah. On the road, we've been loving every minute. We've been in the <laughs> studio, we've been practicing, uh, just doing as much as we can to just keep uh, pushing. I, it was, it's been cool, uh, kind of a huge staple, obviously, in our careers, as would any debut album for any band. Um, yeah, the, the album's coming out finally. It's been something that we've been writing for years, and we're so excited for everyone to hear what we're working on. This album was written. Um, throughout the span of our career. In fact, um, the second and third song that we ever wrote are on the album, and the last song that we wrote is on the album. So it's, it definitely takes you through um, the growth of Butcher Babies and everything that we've gone through in the past you know, three and a half years as a band. Um, and you, you can definitely see the difference, you know, from thrash metal to melodics, and uh, there's, there's such a there's such a diversity within the album that um, we're really excited. It's kind of a unique sound. The recording process was a very, very new uh, way to do it for me. Uh, I've always recorded drums first. And on this record, we actually did guitars, bass, most of the vocals, and we did drums last and then finished the vocals after that. It was pretty neat because when I was recording, I was listening to the actual guitar and the bass that was on the album. So that was exciting as hell. Like, it was awesome. So, and I've never done that before. Yeah, so very great. different. Even our producer had never done it before, but he thought it would be a good idea. And he, and he said that he, uh, he's going to do it from now on like that. So, pretty cool. Yeah. I was first exposed to metal through um, Korn and Slipknot. It's funny, I remember I remember seeing a picture of Slipknot and uh, and I was like, oh my god, what? that's so creepy, what is that? That I was so intrigued that I had to listen to it and I fell in love and it was something that I really loved um, and I wanted to be just like that and uh, I could just feel the emotion in, you know, in Corey's voice and everything, and it really inspired me to be the adult woman that I am today. For me, it was uh, Sepultura, Chaos AD, came out in 1993, fourth record I ever had, and on that record, I was wondering what the heck, how he was playing these, the snare drums so fast, like all these, like that, and I was like, wow, that's crazy. Come to find out, I go to my first show ever when I was like 16, and I see the drummer, and he has this one bass drum, and he has this double kick pedal. I'm like, what the heck is that? And he has the two beaters hitting. And I was like, that's not the snare drum on the Sepulter album. That's the bass drum. And after that, next day went home, I was like, Dad, I need my allowance money early because I need a double bass drum pedal. And so that was from me on right there. Bam, it's been nonstop metal. I think um, you can only learn from Marilyn Manson. I think if you go on that tour and don't learn from Marilyn Manson, you failed. <laughs> but because uh, he, he's definitely one of, you know, the last true rock stars of our, of our time. He, I mean, the sex, drugs, rock and roll, everything you could think of in a rock star. That's Marilyn Manson, and you know he is a an icon. He is a legend. So I mean, standing side stage and watching him every day was just it. It was kind of an, an awe feeling. And um, not only that, but we all grew up 
wanting to be just like him. He was he was so creative musically, in his theatrics, everything, and obviously a huge inspiration for Butcher Babies. So um, we definitely took it all in, everything we could. Biggest, he's like uh, pretty much since I was 16. Um, I heard about him. It was Christian school, and on the off the principal's office, he had this uh, flyer up there and saying like this is the antichrist i went to christian school my whole life and i saw this and i was like wow and i go home and of course i look up brian warner marilyn manson and from then on i'm just like well shh, i love this and then he has been my favorite since then thanks christian school for introducing me to marilyn manson <laughs> Everything that goes on in our careers, um, it's definitely everything we wanted, but to find peace and find a little bit of alone time, we, I, I go running. I run or I sleep. I, uh, I just try to stay busy and uh, keep playing music, doing that. I mean, it's, that's pretty much what it is. So, and hot sauce, I love hot sauce. I think the biggest thing, you know, for to that advice we would give would be to never give up. Perseverance is what will make your career. If you have a dream, go for it and don't let anyone ever tell you no. And that's just something that I think every single one of us has dealt with. We're not we're not, you know, 21 year old kids playing music. We've all had careers prior to this and we just kept pushing at the dream, pushing out everything we wanted and uh, the perseverance is paying off. Yeah, basically it's, uh, <clears throat> it's kind of a neat thing, um, dreaming big and all that, and we actually have it on the back of our t-shirts now. It's kind of a neat, that's, that's what you have to do. If you have this dream, just keep going for it, never give up. I mean, there's so many people that will tell you no your whole life, everything people will tell you no, but if you really have a passion for something, go for it. Yeah. to remember Butcher Babies by just freedom, kind of just freedom to be who we are, when we want, <laughs> and uh, just uh, balls to the wall metal. <laughs> For them, just also, you know, remembering, you know, the show and seeing us and the experience they had here with us and, um, you know, just feel that and remember that, you know, as long as they live. I love axe wounds. Ah, that's my favorite to perform live too. And I smell a massacre. <laughs> that's a good one too. Yeah. I, I, like, I like playing them all. For me, it's like uh, we all put a lot of heart and effort into this record. And, um, you know, it's just every single song to us, it's amazing to play. Death Surround actually is also another one that at first I was like, wow, okay. And then now it's like I just can't get it out of my head. Guilty pleasure for me. I wouldn't say it's really guilty, but uh, I mean, it could be Blink-182. I love Blink-182. Well, I grew up Mormon, and so for me, I, um, you know, obviously I wasn't allowed to listen to metal music. It, you know, with Slipknot, Manson, Korn, um, Limp Bizkit, I had to hide those albums from my parents and um, listen to them in my closet. <laughs> they, if they would have found out, I would have been in huge trouble. In fact, one time I had a juvenile CD. Yeah, dirty, dirty rap. I had a juvenile CD and my mom took it away from me. So, um, of course it was, you know, tasting the forbidden fruit, but uh, I, I think, you know, what, I think it, it wasn't necessarily, you know, getting into this as a profession, it wasn't necessarily like, oh, I'm going to rebel against religion. It was just more so I want to live my dream and I'm not going to let any religion tell me no. Um, so, I, you know, religion, job, society, doesn't really matter. It's all the same thing to me. Our uh, album comes out on Century Media. It's called Goliath and it comes out July 9th, and we are super, super excited. Yes, 
Um, you can get the pre-order at cmdistro.com. Um, you can check us out. We are, we're very active on our Facebook, so just uh, find us on Facebook. <laughs> it's all up there. It's on Facebook nonstop. Post and post and post. <laughs> I really enjoy having a, um, an, a physical CD. For some reason, I feel like those sound better than and, the digital downloads. And uh, are you talking like the actual recording process, like to tape? Um, I've never had a chance to cut tape. Uh, I have recorded to tape probably twice. Um, digital's, digital's way faster. A lot yeah, easier. Yeah, a lot easier. We recorded uh, analog once and it was really awkward. Yeah, it's kind of, it was tough. <laughs> Keep working hard. Uh, the future of music, I, I would hope that more metal would, would take hold. I mean, so passionate. I, I would hope that people would gravitate more towards that than, you know, the fake, um, the way the music business is portraying, you know, real music nowadays. So, hopefully, metal will pr will prevail. <laughs> it's definitely prevailing here today <laughs> at the Mayhem Festival. This is amazing. <laughs>